In this video, I'm going to show you a complete process step by step on how you can actually write and publish your book on Amazon Kindle and then you can start making money from that from your first month. And this video is going to be super comprehensive and in detail step by step because I'm going to be covering each topic in this video in detail. Like you can just break down this video in many steps and in step number one, I'll show you how you can actually find a good topic. Uh, you can just write the story on Kindle so you can just publish that and make money. And in step number two, I'll show you how you can actually use chat GPT chatbot to write the story for you. And we are not only generating the story from the chat GPT, but later we will check that will it fall into a unique content or not, because if you can just ask chat GPT to write story for you so other people can also do that and then in future you can get trouble because your content can be duplicated so right after getting the story written by chat GPT we will change the wording of that story with another tool so our content will be 100% unique and you can just sell that ebook content without any worry and then we will format that story into a Kindle form and then I'll show you how you can actually design the ebook cover as per the Kindle guideline and then in last step I'll show you how you can actually publish that book properly with the cover with the keyword and all of that stuff that needs to rank your book on full speed of kinder so all the information step by step you will get in this video so keep on watching this video till the end because by the end of this video you will learn each and everything about this whole process and you can start publishing your book on kindle from today so as you can see that this is my one week sales and if i put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales you can see that throughout the year i got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in december which was christmas season so around 150k was the revenue and a cool thing about this is that the ppc spend was very less for the lifetime so basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. So as you can see here, I'm on Amazon.com right now and the good thing about Amazon Kindle Publishing is it works just like private label but it's not like private label. Like in private label, if you're selling any product, you need to worry about the inventory. But in this method, you don't need any inventory because it will be the ebook and if someone order paperback version of that book, then Amazon will gonna print that book for you and deliver it to your customer. So you don't need to worry for any inventory. You just need to do the keyword research. You just need to find a high demand and low competition topic on which people want to read the book and they are not many book present on Kindle. So find that topic, write the book, publish that book and start making money when some people start purchasing that book. So for this video, we are going to be writing short stories. So in order to start our keyword research, like if we want to know that on which topic people want to read the stories. So first we need to click on the Amazon search bar and here you need to type short stories. And after that, I need to put a space and let the Amazon search engine show some results for me that people are actually searching. So Amazon is showing me that people are searching for short stories in Spanish for beginner, but we don't want in Spanish right now, but you can do because Amazon Kindle is worldwide. If you start publishing book in any language like Spanish, German, so people in the Germany can download your book from Amazon.de. So this is the beauty of this model because you don't need to purchase or send any inventory. So you can see that Amazon is showing us some results like short stories collection, short stories for kids, short stories for women. So uh, if you just click on short stories for women, then Amazon will show us some books regarding this topic. Like these are the short stories for women, which people are actually selling on Kindle and women are actually purchasing these kind of books. But I think this can be a very broad topic. You can see that over 90,000 books are present on this topic. So we can just skip that. So we can just try and shuffle this keyword for like short stories for kids, short story for men or adult. So uh, let's just search for short story uh, funny and put space and see uh, what Amazon is showing us. Funny short stories for adults, funny short stories for kids, or funny short stories for teens. Okay, so select this keyword because it's a, a long tail keyword and you can see that on this keyword, there's not a lot of competition. Like only 8,000 books are present and if you can find some book on this topic, so this topic can be a little interesting, like funny short stories for teens. And if we go down, you can see that this is a PPC ad. And uh, if we go further down, we can find some other book like Dragons, Unicorn and Bigfoot. And you can see that this book is actually selling, having 17 reviews. And if we go further down, uh, this book is having 1500 reviews and uh, it's selling for $8. And in paperback, it will be high because it will be a printed book. 
and if we go further down so this is a bestseller and a sponsor so you can see that if on any keyword you find some book like bestsellers and you find some people are sponsoring those books that means they are running PPC ads for these books because they are getting sales that's why they are running ads and that's why they are putting money on that book so that means this topic can be doable because it is having high demand low competition and there are some bestseller book in this category and people are putting money in advertising those kind of book and they are actually advertising those books just because they are getting sale so you can see that this is a perfect example for a book like uh, it's a sponsored bestseller having 767 reviews and $15 is a price so if you just open that listing and see what is the BSR and how much sales they are getting so uh, you can see that this book is available for Kindle audiobook hardcover and paperback and for Kindle it's for $9.99 and for paperback it's for $15 so that means if someone only downloaded it for a reading so they have to pay $9.99 and if they want to purchase a paperback version so they have to pay $15 so if we go further down and find out the BSR of this book so we can see that in book category the BSR of this book is 3980 that means it's a best-selling book and uh, as per my experience this person must be getting a four thousand to five thousand dollar revenue per month from this book so we need these kind of book to publish on Amazon Kindle so let's just copy that keyword funny short stories 14 and now move on to our second step which is writing a book from chat GPT so for that you just need to go on chat GPT from this link chat.openai.com and and here you can just sign up for free from your Google account and then you just need to ask ChatGPT like hey ChatGPT can you please find out some stories topic for me regarding funny short stories for teens okay so we have asked our question from ChatGPT. So now you can see that ChatGPT is writing some good topic for us uh, on which we can just write stories. So we will ask topic from ChatGPT and we will ask ChatGPT to write stories for us on this topic. So you can see that I think it will find eight or 10 topic for us. So, uh, okay, you can see that we are having 10 topics here. So let's start reading those topic. So number one, the prankster, a story about a mischievous teen who loves to play practical jokes on his friends and family, but learns a lesson about taking things too far. So it can be doable. Uh, the big date, uh, the new kid, the rentation dilemma, the talent show disaster and so on. So if we find these topic interesting, then we can proceed. Otherwise we can just ask chat GPT to find some other topic for us. So we can just further ask for more topic like, please find some more good high demand interesting topics for funny short stories for teens so let ChatGPT find some good topic for us uh, so the fashion disaster the super fan uh, the failed experiment uh, the lost pet uh, this topic is good like we can just write a story on that topic like uh, for a teenager uh, the pet their pet will be lost and then it will be a funny story so all right i think these topics are too good like the fashion disaster, the super fan, the lost pet, the awkward date, and the internet troll. Okay, so now we can just ask ChatGPT one by one to write stories for 500 words on each topic. So I can just show you this for only one story in this video, and later you can just repeat that process for every story. So I can just pick any story like uh, the awkward date, and then I can just copy that, and then, okay, now write a 500 words story for me on the topic the awkward date a funny story for teens so we need to write that at the end because we want chat gpt to stick on our topic so let chat gpt write the story for us uh, so we can just wait a little until the chat gpt complete the story for 500 words and then you can just read out that story later uh, it must be really good so you can see that once upon a time there was a teenage girl named sophie uh, who had a crush on a boy named jack and jack was the most popular boy in school so you can see that how cool this story is and if i start reading this story so i can just attach myself to that story so if you publish this story with a good cover and good keyword research so people will purchase that story and you'll get money so now the second step has completed like uh, we have just got the story and if we copy that story from here after copying that story we just need to go on google and type for a free tool called quiltbot and you can just click on this first link quiltbot.com so this is basically a second ai tool which basically shuffle the words from this story and make a new version for this story for you like the story will be same but the wording will be different so it will not be a copied content for you and you can just post this story on kindle without any worries like it will be a unique content 100 percent content belongs to you like you will be the writer of this story so here you can just click on uh, paste text and then you can just click on paraphrase so here you can see that uh, this AI tool is uh, generating new story for us like the story will be same but the words and sentence will be shuffled. So now here we can see that if on left side you can see once upon a time there was a teenage girl named Sophie 
and on the right side you can see there was a teenage girl named Sophie who was crushing on a boy by the name of Jack. So you can see that the wording is changed but the story is same. So now as we have our topic and our story done, so we can just copy all of that text and paste that text into a word file and then from that file we can just generate a PDF file for that because Amazon Kindle want us to upload a PDF file story on their platform. So for that you can just use any tool like MS Word or Google Doc. Alright so as you can see here I'm on Google Doc right now and here I have created a document and I have pasted my story here and I have set the name of that document with the story name which is awkward date so here you can see that our document is ready story is ready title is ready so we can just click on this file and download it as a PDF so now our PDF is ready and if we click on here you can just see that this is a PDF file and uh, this is a title so I am just making this all simple because I want to make this video short but you can just do many things you can just format this document you can just add more paragraph you can just add some uh, conclusion or ending line you can just add a title in this main page bullet point or if you're publishing some more stories in one document like a pack of five stories so you can just create an index and you can just put the title of all five stories in that index and uh, you can just do the numbering of the pages like uh, page number one page number two page number three or so on because amazon kindle want you to publish at least 24 pages book then it will accept so it's only one page book so it will not accept it by amazon kindle so if you want to really publish a book so you need to create five six or ten stories and then you can just combine or compile all of those stories into a pdf document with a proper page number proper heading proper bullet point and title and index and then you can just finalize that document and upload that document on kindle so now the second last part which is designing a cover so for that first you need to go on google and type amazon kdp cover calculator and here you need to click on this first link so by doing so you will be able to find out the dimension of that cover which you want to design so here you can see that it is asking us some question so a binding type you can just click on paperback because we want our book to be downloadable or to be sold in paperback and in the interior type we can just select black and white paper but if you're sharing a coloring book like uh, your book content images so you need to click on this standard color but a standard color book will be expensive for your buyer if they are purchasing paperback so if your book is not containing any images so i recommend you to click on this black and white and then in paper type you can just click on white paper and here in direction you can just put left to right and in measurement uh, inches okay and in interior term you can just uh, check 5 to 8 inch and page count you can just put 24 and then click on calculate dimension so by doing that amazon will basically share a dimension for you for which you can just design your cover so after getting dimension from here you can just see 5 by 8 inch you need to go on canva and then you can just type kindle book cover so from here you can just see there are many cool templates so you can just select any of the template from here and then download that template so later you can use that cover to publish on your amazon kindle book so from here you can just see i can just find this cover attractive and uh, this cover is also attractive so i can just click on that one and click on customize template okay so here we are on the edit page of canva for our cover design so here you can just customize any text you want so the text right now is together alone again so we can just double click on that and we can just erase that text and put our title here which is the awkward date. So you can see that within just couple of clicks we can just modify this whole cover, put any text you want and if you zoom a little you can find many of other texts here. So you can just write your name here like you are the author. You can just write anything here and if you want to change the background image so you can just do that as well. You can just find any image on pixels.com which is non copyright and you can use that image here. So after finalizing the cover you can just click on this share and uh, download and uh, from there pdf and jpeg you can just download jpeg or pdf and then you can just click on download and after downloading that cover and that book will be on your computer drive so now at this stage you are having your title you are having your book you are having your design now the last step is to go on amazon kindle and publish that book so for that you need to go on google and type kindle publishing and from there you need to go down and click on this link which says kdp.amazon.com and when you click on this link so here you can see that it's the main page and from that sign in button you will be able to sign in on your kindle account so if you're not having your account so you can just sign up here or if you're already having your account so you can just click on sign in so i'm already having an account so i just click on sign in and i have just signed into my account so here you can see that we are on our kindle publishing dashboard so on here it's my bookshelf i can see all of my book from here and in this marketing tab i can just start creating pvc campaign for my book but now as you want to upload our book so for that we need to click on this create button 
So when you click on this create button, you will see a form and from that form, you will be able to select your version of book. So right now we don't want to upload Kindle book, but we want to upload paperback book. So click on create paperback and then from here, you will be able to see these three forms. So one by one, you need to put the information in these form here, like your language, your book title, your CDs, your edition number. You can just give any number to your book or it's optional and you can just write your name in the author and in the contributor, you can just write any other people name or you can just leave it blank and in the description, you can just write a cool description and in the keywords you can just find that many of the keywords from the amazon.com just i show you before or you can just ask gpt to generate keywords for you for this book so you can just put all of those keywords here one by one so amazon will know like your book belongs to all of those keywords so your book will be ranked on all of those keywords which people are searching on kindle and then after filling out all of the information you need to find the category and for the category you again need to go on amazon and here you need to find the category of this book which in this case is self esteem for teens and young adults so you can just find the same category here and select that category and click on save and continue and on the next step on this paperback content it will ask you to upload your uh, paperback book and it will ask you to upload your cover so from that you can just upload that cover which we have just made on canva and upload that book which we have just donated from chat gpt so after uploading your cover and the book you just need to click on save and continue and then publish your book within one click so after doing that you need to wait for one or two hour and then your book will be published on amazon kindle platform and before publishing you can just see this third step paperback rights and pricing so here you can just define the pricing for your book or you can just set the price later when you launch so right after watching this video go there find some good topic for your books which you like and then start publishing your books on amazon kindle every week so in that way after a couple of months you will be start making a lot of money from amazon kindle so that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it so if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.